टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द रोल पावर्स एंड फंक्शंस ऑफ द स्पीकर ऑफ लोकसभा पावर्स एंड फंक्शंस ऑफ द स्पीकर आर मेनली डिवाइडेड इनटू फाइव कैटेगरीज वन इज रेगुलेटिंग द बिजनेस ऑफ द हाउस स्पीकर ऑफ द लोकसभा presides over the meetings of the house and conducts its proceedings lok sabha speaker he presides over the meetings and also he conducts its proceedings systematically that is the first function of the speaker second one he allots them time to speak speaker of the lok sabha he gives the time allots the time for each mp to speak in the lok sabha he allots them time to speak next one if a bill is pending before the house it is the speaker who decides whether to pass or no here speaker decides if a bill is pending before the house he decides whether to be discussed in the lok sabha or no that is the power of the speaker next one he is the guardian of the rights and privileges of the house and members speaker of the lok sabha he protects the rights and privileges of the house and also the members of the lok sabha next one he certifies certifies whether a bill is a money bill or an ordinary bill speaker of the lok sabha he decides a particular bill is a money bill or a ordinary bill it is left to the speaker who decides it next one in a case of a tie in the voting he exercises the casting vote in the lok sabha whenever there is a voting in the house then if the voting turns into a tie then the speaker he cast his vote on any of the party next one he interprets the rules of the procedure of the house and gives ruling on points of order if any member or anything goes wrong in the house it is the speaker who gives correct decisions or interprets the rules about how to go in the lok sabha this is all about the speaker's power on regulating the house of the house business of the house the next one disciplinary functions on disciplinary functions the speaker maintains order in the house here it is the speaker who maintains proper order if any disturbance he maintains a discipline and order in the house next one he may adjourn the house if any member disrupts here if the house doesn't listen to the speaker or any noise in the house speaker may postpone suspend the meeting adjourn the meeting till the house gets calm next one if a word or words used in the debate are indecent he may remove such words from the proceedings of the house here 
if a particular member uses a wrong word or bad words in the debate which are known as indecent words he may remove such words the power is known as disciplinary power of the speaker next one under the anti defection act of 1985 the speaker is vested with the power relating to the disqualification of a member of the lok sabha here what is anti defection law here under anti defection law a member of the house belonging to any political party shall be disqualified here speaker can disqualify or remove the mp from the house on anti defection law how this member is disqualified if a particular mp voluntarily gives up his membership of a such political party if a mp he gives voluntarily gives up his membership from particular political party in such case speaker can disqualify him next one if he votes or abstains from voting in the house contrary to direction of the party if a particular mp votes or doesn't vote what his party says then the particular mp can be disqualified by the speaker that is known as according to anti defection law and the third main function of the speaker on regarding administrative functions the speaker receives all petitions and documents addressed to the house here any petitions or cases or any debate any thing documents which member brings into the house speaker receives them and he keeps in front of the house to be discussed he communicates the decisions of the house to the concerned authorities here speaker whatever the decision are uh, taken in the house same decisions are he communicates to the concerned authorities he allows the admissions of visitors press conference to the galleries of the house if any people want to visit the house to see the proceedings a press media people it is the speaker who gives them admission or permission to the house next one regarding the supervisory control over parliamentary committees the committees of the house function under the overall direction of the speaker there are certain committees in the lok sabha such as parliamentary committee etc these committees work directly under the control of the speaker next one the chairman of all the parliamentary committees are nominated by the speaker whatever the committees are formed in the house the chairman of all the parliamentary committees are also nominated by the speaker any procedural problems in the functions of the committees are referred to the speaker any problem in the committees those problems are referred to the speaker of the house and the last one other powers and functions other than all parliament supervisory administrative disciplinary speaker also has certain other functions the speaker presides over the joint sitting of the both the houses of the parliament 
whenever the Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha both they have joint sitting, then Speaker of the Lok Sabha will preside over the meetings. The Speaker in the is the chief spokesman of the House and works as a channel of communication between the President and the House. Here, Speaker is a main media medium of communication between president and the house whatever the house discusses in the house in the lok sabha the same the speaker will communicate to the president 